एलिफेंट एंड फ्रेंड्स One day an elephant wandered into the forest in search of friends. He saw a monkey on a tree. Will you be my friend? asked the elephant. Replied the monkey, "You are too big. You cannot swing from trees to trees like me." Next, the elephant met a rabbit. He asked him to be his friends. But the rabbit said, "You are too big to play in my burrow." The elephant met a frog. "Will you be my friend?" he asked. "How can I?" asked the frog You are too big to leap about like me The elephant was upset He met a fox next Will you be my friend? He asked the fox. The fox said, "Sorry, sir, you are too big." The next day, the elephant saw all the animals in the forest running for their lives. The elephant asked them. What the matter was? The bear replied, "There is a lion in the forest. He is trying to gobble us up." The animals ran away to hide. The elephant wondered what he could do to save everyone in the forest. Meanwhile, the lion kept eating up whoever he could find. The elephant walked up to the lion and said, "Please, Mr. King, do not eat up these poor animals." Mind your language," growled the lion. The elephant has no chance but to give the lion a hefty kick. The frightened lion ran for his life. The elephant ambled back in the forest to announce the good news to everyone. All the animals thanked the elephant. They said, "You are just the right size to be our friend." True wealth. Once upon a time, there were two friends named Hari and Ravi. They both lived in same street. Hari is very rich.
has all kinds of wealth with him. But what is the use? He couldn't sleep well even for a single night. On the other hand, Ravi is so poor, but he used to sleep peacefully. He widely opened his windows and dozed off at the cool breeze. Hari used to feel jealous at the happy nap of Ravi. He understood that Ravi is able to sleep as he has no wealth to disturb his mind. So he thought of an idea to spoil the sleep of Ravi. One day he took sack full of gold coins and went to Ravi. I am really sad to look at your poverty. After all, you are my friend. So I wish to help you with some amount. Take this gold and get rid of your poverty said Hari and placed a sack of gold coins in Ravi's hand. Ravi felt happy at the sight of gold coins. He offered his gratitude to his friend. He took the sack to his home and hid it under his mattress. But he couldn't sleep that night. He had to shut all the doors and windows tightly with the fear of thieves. Ravi was restless. At one hand, he was happy that he is now a wealthy person. On the other hand, he feared that someone could steal his wealthy away. He could not sleep even for a single second that night. The very next day, Ravi went to Hari and said, My friend, I have understood the reason for which you have given me the money. Please take away your gold. I have something that's more precious than these coins. I can't forgo my peace for your money. Saying so, Ravi returned the money and went back to his home. He has a nice sleep that day. A wolf and seven baby goats. Once upon a time, there lived a goat. One day the goat had to leave for the town. So she called her children and said, Look my dear children, I have to leave for the town now. You should be careful till I come back. Be cautious about the wolf near that tree. She is waiting for the time to eat you away. Don't open the door. Okay, mother. But how would we know that the wolf has knocked the door? Ask the kids. Very simple. The wolf has a hoarse voice and its hoofs would be black. She gave few precautions to the children and started for the town. The wolf was of course waiting for the mother goat to leave her house. She immediately rushed to the house and knocked the door. Kids, I am back home. Open the door quickly, said the wolf. Nah, your voice is so rough. You can't be my mother. You seem to be that bad wolf. Go away. Go from here. The wolf did expect such reply from baby goats. So she wandered for a while and came back to Goat's house. This time she softened her voice. Kids, I am back home. It's really cold outside. Please open the door quickly. And she knocked the door. The baby goats heard the voice and thought that her mother has come back. As they were about to open the door, they saw black claws of wolves. Nah, your legs are black. Our mother legs would be white. You are probably that cunning wolf. Get away from here, said the baby goats and they didn't open the door. The wolf got angry as her tricks didn't work. 
This time she went and rubbed some limestone on her legs. She reached the goat's house and said in the most pleasing tone, Kids, I am back home. I have brought a lot of gifts for you. Open the door quickly. The poor goats has this time believed that it was really her mother who knocked the door. And they opened the door. But alas, it was the wolf standing before them. The hungry wolf entered their home and ate all the goats. She then went to the nearby lake and slept away. The next day the mother goat came back. And what did she see? All her babies were missing. She understood that the wolf might have eaten her babies away. Mother goat began to search for that evil wolf. She found the dozing wolf nearby the lake. Mother goat could feel her babies inside the wolf's tummy. She slowly reached the sleeping wolf and said, Children, can you hear me? Come slowly out of wolf's mouth. As the baby goats heard the mother's voice, they slowly came out of the dozing wolf. The mother goat took her babies back to her house. She cautioned her kids that thereafter they should be more careful. Meanwhile, the wolf woke up and guess what? Her belly is empty. The hare and the tortoise. There once was a speedy hare who bragged about how fast he could run. Tired of hearing him, post the tortoise, challenge him to race. All animals in the forest gathered to watch. The hare ran down the road for a while and then paused to rest. He looked back at the tortoise and cried out. How do you expect to win this race when you are walking along at your slow, slow pace? The hare stretched himself out alongside road and fell asleep, thinking there is plenty of time to relax. The tortoise walked and walked, he never stopped until he came to the finish line. Animals who were watching cheered so loudly for tortoise that they woke up the hare. The hare stretched and began to run again. But it was too late. Tortoise had already crossed the finish line. Moral of the story. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> The Lion and the Mouse Once when a lion, the king of the jungle, was asleep. A little mouse began running up and down on him. This soon awakened the lion, who placed his huge paw on the mouse and opened his big jaws to swallow him. Pardon, O oh king, cried the little mouse. Forgive me this time. Forgive me. I shall never repeat it. I shall never forget your kindness. 
and who knows i may be able to do you good turn one of these days the lion was tickled by the idea of the mouse being able to help him that he lifted his paw and let him go some time later a few hunters captured the lion and tied him to a tree after that they went in search of egan to take him to the zoo just then the little mouse happened to pass by on seeing the lion's plight he ran up to him and gnawed away the ropes that bound him the king of the jungle was i not right said the little mouse very happy to help the lion moral of the story small act of kindness will be rewarded greatly thirsty crow on a hot day a thirsty crow fell all over the fields looking for water for a long time she should not find any she felt very weak almost giving up hope suddenly she saw water jug below her she flew straight down to see if there was any water inside yes she could see some water inside the jug the crow tried to push her head into the jug sadly she found that the neck of the jug was too narrow the crow thought hard for a while then looking around her she saw some pebbles she suddenly had a good idea she started picking up pebbles one by one dropping each into the jug as more and more pebbles filled the jug the water level kept rising soon it was high enough for the crow to drink her plan had worked if you try hard enough you may soon find the answer to your problem the hungry fox who caught in the tree trunk once upon a time there was a hungry fox that was looking for something to eat he was very hungry no matter how hard he tried the fox could not find food finally he went to the edge of the forest and searched there for food suddenly he caught sight of a big tree with a hole in it inside the hole there was a package the hungry fox immediately thought that there might be food inside and became very happy he jumped into the hole when he opened the package he saw slices of bread meat and fruit in it an old woodcutter had placed the food in the tree trunk before he began to cut down the trees in the forest the fox happily began to eat and he finished eating he felt thirsty and decided to leave the hole and drink some water from nearby spring however no matter how hard he tried he could not get out of the hole do you know why yes the fox had eaten so much food that he became too big to fit through the hole the fox was very sad and upset he told himself i wish i thought a little before jumping into the hole yes children this is the result of doing something without thinking about it first <laughs>